So, who are you? Just to go. <clears throat> Just kidding. Uh, my name is Matthew Hasting, and I'm the lead vocalist for My Children, My Bride. Um, what is straight edge? Straight edge. I have no idea. No, just kidding. Um, uh, for me personally, straight edge is just the vowel and just the kind of the um, wow, I just blanked. Uh, let me start over. <laughs> <laughs> you can start again. Um, for me, straight edge is just like the personal commitment to a life uh, free of drugs, free of alcohol, and free of substance abuse whether it's cigarettes or um medication or anything else like that okay. so um why did you choose to claim edge uh for me it was just there's birds fighting <laughs> <laughs> um the reason i decided to claim straight edge um at the time one of my best friends and a lot of my friends in school were uh, i was like 14 or 15 and a lot of people say like oh you can't be straight edge until you're 21 but i i firmly disbelief like with that and uh because like when you're in high school or when you're in middle school there's like so many of your friends are just getting into all those like like drugs and alcohol and everything else and that's when like the temptations and the peer pressure is like the hardest and uh one of my friends one of my like my best friend actually at the time like um he did a lot of drugs and he like overdosed and uh he almost died actually like I had to like sit with him in the hospital and stuff and like that paired with uh my, like stuff in my family and like my father's past and stuff like that it just I kind of made up my mind that I didn't want to have anything to do with that at all and that uh it kind of went hand in hand with my faith and what I believed in as a Christian um but I just I don't know from that day on I just felt like that none of that was good enough like none of that was good for me and that I didn't need it to have fun and I didn't need it to fit in with anybody or with any group, so I decided to become straight edge and just kind of take a vow to myself never to do that stuff. Okay. Um, how does this affect your day-to-day -day life, or life uh, in general? Um, it's like, it's like being home or anything else, it doesn't really affect it, but like on tour and everything, like, um, there's people in my band that drink and stuff, and there's people, um, obviously in every other like every band that we tour with there's there's people that drink and do drugs and everything and that's just that's just part of the lifestyle um so with that being said like uh, there's always pressure from like my friends and everything that always joke around they're like come on drink with you know like they just want me to have i guess like do it i don't know and that there's always pressure from like friends and everything and um but they respect me like they know that that's my decision and every like and that's what i stand for so it's mostly just joking <laughs> Okay, um, do you think that straight edge has a bad stigma attached to it? Um, in what way? Like, people think that it's like some sort of way that you can just judge people because you're straight edge? Um, I don't know, like, I think that there's definitely a lot of different ways that people, like, um, incorporate straight edge to their lifestyle. It's like, there's people that, that do think they're better than everyone else because they're free of all those poisons, and there's people that use it to like attack other people and to, like call other people out and say that their life's horrible and that they don't know what they're doing that we're so much better than you and that's that's not how I do it um I mean there's places in the states where straight edge is considered a gang and like uh certain people and certain like crews and stuff that are straight edge like beat other people up for smoking and stuff like I personally I don't agree with that um it's something I do for myself not for anybody else so yeah uh, do you think it's just a trend a trend. I think that a lot of young people kind of see it that way. Like when they started, when they sell like straight edge stuff at Hot Topic in the States and like um, a lot of people like kind of make a joke of and take it for granted and kids that are straight edge for, or say they're straight edge for like three months ago get X's tattooed all over their bodies and stuff like that and um, and then they regret it obviously when they break edge or whatever. I think that um, it's, I think that when you decide to claim that title over your life like that it should be a lifelong commitment and not something that you might give up in a couple years or even a couple months like I, I've had people that say they're reg and then two months later they're drinking and partying with friends and I think it's something way more serious than a lot of people take it for okay. um, this is the last one uh, why claim edge why not just not drink and have no labels um that's a good question and uh, a lot of my friends kind of ask me that a lot especially when I was younger. Um, I guess like having a label or just 
having that title, it just kind of reminds myself like on a day to day basis, like, like I have X's on my hand that constantly remind me. And it's just kind of just, I don't know. It's something that I decided to take on. Like I, I don't, even if I said I'm not straight edge anymore today, like I still don't plan on drinking or doing anything. It's just personally, it's just a reminder to myself that I've chosen that lifestyle. And it's something that I'm proud of that I can say that I've never, I've never consumed alcohol. I've never smoked cigarettes or, and I've never taken any drugs. It's just, I don't know, something that I'm proud of. Do you have anything else to say about straight edge? Or? Um, Not really. <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> if if anyone's thinking about like becoming straight edge, like I said before, like I would definitely put a lot of thought into it. Like, it's a definitely a big decision. Um, but it's awesome. And you save money, and it's like, I don't know. You don't have to do all those things to be cool. Like, whether peer pressure or anything else is like telling you so. Like, um. Like I sing in a band and everything else and like I have the time of my life, I'm in another country right now and it's like just being able to do that and everything is just a sign that like I don't need those substances, I don't need all that stuff to be cool or whatever. So Thank you. Thanks.